We're going to go out to Jim in Palm Harbor. Jim, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing this morning? Uh, good morning, Steve. Uh, I'm doing fine, and I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, it's, it's a great time to be with family and celebrate what the Lord's done for us. Absolutely, and uh, thanks for that. Yes. And uh, back at you. And uh, now, are you are you the chef, or is your family the chef, or are you heading out for for Thanksgiving? <laughs> uh, I'm from Tennessee, and we're living in Palm Harbor now, so we're not going home this year. But we'll probably go up for Christmas, though. So. Okay. Well, good, good, good. <laughs> Um, so Walmart, uh, tell us, uh, I know you wanted to talk about Walmart. I believe you do. Um, are you, what are you looking for here? Uh, I'm not in it currently, but, uh, I was noticing there's a, a shooting star candle on the monthly and, uh, it was almost a nine count. And I, I just wondering what your general analysis of Walmart is. It's being a holiday season where they're going to be selling a lot of merchandise and I've just curious what your thoughts and analysis would be on it. So in in order for there to be, in order for that monthly candle to be a shooting star um, at the close of the month, it's going to have to get rid of some of this wick to the downside. So there's just too much of the wick um, that is exposed for this to actually be a shooting star candle out there. So that would be the first caution that I have. But of course, as you know, we really can't confirm what the candle is until the end of the month, uh, be sometime next week out there. Um, so, so, that, so if you're basing it on what the current candle looks like, it's close. Uh, but, uh, Jim, it's no cigar just yet. If we do take a look at the monthly time frame, let me pull this over here. Um, what we can see in the monthly time frame is that uh, coming all the way back to the November 2016 lows, if we begin our wave count, first back in November of 2016 on a monthly basis, and you had mentioned the uh, TD setup nine count, that was a TD setup nine count bottom. Then, uh, so this is back in November of 2016 out there. Then price moves higher, forms a TD setup uh, nine count top. It does it with bar number eight, uh, moves lower. Um, no pattern, uh, just a retracement, no pattern on the monthly time frame uh, that it was a bottoming then. But if we do take a look at where we're at right now, we start uh, from that uh, November of 2016 count and use our Chapman wave tools out here, we do get to wave number seven. So it's been in wave number seven for quite some time. That actually, that count began back in June of this year. Well, I take that back. It began, the seventh wave began in September of this year. We're already in November. So we can see that this can continue. So it could continue into next month. Jim, it could continue into uh, January. Price is moving higher doing less relative energy. So if there were to be a shooting start candle at month end. Right now, it's actually a bullish candle. It's a bull sash candle out here. But if it were to be a, a bearish reversal candle, then what we would expect is price to go test Stevie's green line. That's currently priced at 113.20. And below that, that would set up something else. But that's what the monthly time frame chart is showing us. The profiles are so much lower. 84.19 is the top of the box. We really can't use that. From a weekly perspective, and, and if I didn't mention it, Jim, uh, this month should be bar number eight on that monthly chart. So reason between bar number eight, uh, it was showing roads momentum indicator topping signal as well as wave number seven. So you do, uh, your, your eye is in the right spot with regard to Microsoft. Is it or is it not going to go ahead and form a... Uh, uh, a top out here. Now, with regard to your shooting star candles out here, you did get one on the weekly basis last week. And and if you were referring to that one, Jim, instead of the monthly, my apology for uh, not hearing that uh, clearly. So in the case of the weekly chart, it does have a confirmed roads momentum indicator top. So far this week, what we've seen is price try to get back up and get over the oscillator and change line, Stevie's green line. It hasn't done that. That is resistance, 120.75. And this would suggest that price could pull all the way back to 111.22. That's what the weekly time frame chart is communicating to us. From a daily time frame out here, Jim, if we take a look at it, we try to find some kind of bottom signal out here. Let me just do a uh, quick uh, wave count, see where we're at. Uh, no, nothing there. So I don't really have anything on the daily time frame out here other than to say that price is trading with inside its profiles now are you looking for what are you looking to do here i was just uh looking through different uh scenarios on uh, charts and i thought that one was interesting that the monthly yeah. 
look like it could possibly be uh, topping out. Yeah, it and, does. so the weekly the weekly shows that the the weekly has a topping pattern. The monthly has a potential, and the daily doesn't have really anything uh, of the topping patterns that I use. And uh, it just shows consolidating between one seventeen thirteen and one nineteen eighty five. I would watch one seventeen thirteen. If Walmart were to close below that, that would suggest to move back to the uh, one fourteen ninety three level. And below that, then we would really have a change in trend, a confirmed change in trend on the weekly time frame out there. So I hope that helps you out with regard to uh, Walmart. Uh, good to uh, okay. hear from you, as always, and uh, happy Thanksgiving again to you and your family, and thanks for those well wishes. You, so, you too. Bye-bye. You bet. You bet. That was Jim in Palm Harbor.